Hi, Dixie, Dixie. Hi. Hey, so welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we were over here working and the nail gun literally somehow got a nail in backwards. Uh-oh, never seen that happen before. So uh, I ended up going back and getting another nail gun. I got the same kind and there's really nothing that seems to be broke with the current nail gun other than the fact when I took it apart, all the pieces fell out. So I really don't have to put it back together yet. So I don't have time to figure that out right now. So I just went back and bought another nail gun. I don't know if the nails were, you know, improper or something was wrong. I really don't know what happened, but it literally cut a nail in half. Hey, we're back over the farm. Got the gizmo dog here. He's ready to work. So we've got the bean set back up here. We're gonna work on it to get today and try to finish it up. I did listen to you guys. We went ahead and got two sheets of OSB board. I'm gonna cut these up in eight inch slices uh, and I'm gonna put two, sa two layers sandwiched and offset and then put two more layers of board. I just don't, I, I know I've got a lot of comments like, hey, put a steel truss, do this, you know, put, uh, make a metal, tr I mean, a wood truss. I've got a lot of great ideals and that stuff will come in the future. But this, this barn over the sawmill is literally gonna stay there maybe possibly two years at the most. So after two years, the sawmill will be probably moved as we start building the house. And so we're gonna finish this barn up and then we'll have this barn to work out of. I've even literally thought about putting the sawmill over on the other side. There's so many possibilities, but we know that where the sawmill is right now, it's just a temporary solution. So let me get some gloves and we will flip this dude over. I'm by myself this morning. So pretty much most of the day I'm gonna be by myself. So this is gonna be a struggle. This dude is heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I may go ahead and just leave it setting up and put the boards on the back side. I don't know. That looks, seems like awful hard. We'll figure it out. All right, so yesterday we were flipping these boards over and I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't think about it, but this, these boards are not attached. So it slid this, these, uh, my, my plate boards out and almost dropped this whole thing. So I'm gonna go ahead today and put a, screw so that we're we're not dropping this on our head Woo. boys and girls that is that's heavy right there that is heavy okay so we've got it flipped back over on its side uh, it it's really taunt now it's got a positive crown to it it's really turning out the way i want to now we need to cut some osb board up so i've got two sheets of osb board I'm gonna cut 80 inch strips uh, down the long ways and place those here and then put them in the center. So like I said, when this dude gets done, I, you know what, it may be more than 600 pounds. It may be more like 800 pounds. So it's definitely gonna take a tractor to pick it up uh, and get, put it on the trailer. And then it's definitely going to take the Ichabod crane truck to pick it up and put it on the building. So Lord of mercy, the weight of itself may make the whole thing fall in. I don't know. This could be a giant disaster, but it, Hey, you guys are gonna see it. All right, so what I've got here is a Craig guide. It's a saw, you know, your saw, saw a saw guide, I guess would be what you say. Okay, so I've loosened these two screws here up, and then I've loosened the two clamp screws up, and that should let me slide this thing to the front, and it absolutely fits. Oh, so the first thing to do, we're gonna push this saw, make sure that it's straight up. You wanna make sure that all this is clear, and you're guide is clear tighten first two screws down at the front and like I said this saw like I said I'm not sure but this saw has a it has a aluminum foot or some of your other saws you got the little tin stamp feet so a nice saw slide this over to it touches the blade and right on eight inches Flip this little lock over and it's locked into place. You'll see here it says eight inch and I guess you can see that. Maybe you can. So now all you gotta do is just go slide down it and cut it. And 
and that's one one eight, eight inch board I think it's exactly eight inches all right so I've got two of these clamps I'm gonna clamp this down to so that the board won't pivot around on me anymore all right so now I got to make sure that I focus on keeping this guide on the edge of this board Put some glue on that, good to go. An extra set of hands would be nice. So I put the two boards in between and it seems to be working pretty good where I'm able to use the boards to hold it up off of the forks. So I'm not worrying about my blade catching. I think it's gonna work. I'm already halfway through, but I forgot to turn the camera on. All right, that's another eight foot or eight inch board, eight foot long. got Tanya getting some more glue because uh, I'm already halfway through this this thing of glue I hate to get another whole thing of glue because I don't think I'm gonna need it all but I don't know it's I gotta have it here just in case I guess if I don't open it I can always carry it back this is where you wish I wish Tanya was here so I'm working with this little camera and it does a good job of tracking me so I can see that it's tracking me but Tanya can zoom in and get those really good shots and show you guys what's going on. And when I'm working, I can't do this well. I don't know how some of these guys that show the video are able to do that. Because I don't think I could ever get anything done. So the other day I, I found that you can literally put nails in backwards. So they go in like this at that angle. But they will literally slide in there like this. If you And I did that and made the nail gun misfire it flipped the nail around backwards it basically jammed it up bad and i had to take it apart and i never put it back together again so i went top bottom and now i'm going to stagger down the center All right, i just finished up my second layer of osb i've got two full layers of 1930 seconds osb so i guess it's a little over half inch and uh, we've got the first three set of two by eights. And I think I'm gonna run one more length of two by eights down this side. I probably should have sandwiched two on each side, but at one point I was thinking of going, not using OSB. So this kind of got added later on after a lot of comments. I had a lot of comments saying, man, add OSB in the center of your board. It'll really stiffen it up. So I added it in the beam. Like I said, it's got a positive cam. I feel pretty good about it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and add one more layer of, I don't know, I'm, I may go ahead and just add two more on this side. Uh, that'll be a total of five two by eights and then two rows of uh, OSB. Gosh, that's, a, that's gonna be a beast of a beam. Daddy, you gonna supervise Daddy? Hmm? You're
Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. The next video you're going to see us in, we're going to be taking this beam off and putting it top, top in the post at the sawmill shed to the right height. We use our laser level for that. And then we're going to, uh, from there, we're going to take the Ichabod crane truck and set it up on top of its perch. I, our big concern is, is how we're going to get it back there. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to pick this up with the forklift on, on the tractor and set it on the trailer and then pull it back to the back on the trailer. And it's still going to be hanging off the end of it 10 feet. Uh, it's, it's, it's a long beam. And then take Ichabod crane truck and put it up on there. There's no way for us to get it back there other than just dragging it down the road. I appreciate you watching our channel. I really would appreciate if you'd subscribe to our channel. Uh, it means a lot to us and it helps our channel grow. Also, if you think somebody else might be interested in, in some crazy country boy building a big, big old laminated bean, share this video. I appreciate that too. God bless. Have a great day.